Hi everyone, it's been a long time since I made a video um, for my blog. Uh, I just wanted to speak to you a bit about this. I've got the thread tangled up in the hoop. Um, it's difficult to get a sense of how soft and how lovely this is in photographs. It's really, really lovely. I made lace cloth in an area, um, obviously, as you can see, and then I laid these not proper squares, not exact squares of silk velvet on top and attached those. And then I started to make these grandmother's flower garden hexagons and apply those to the squares. The squares were played, were cut to a certain size so that these would fit on, not necessarily perfectly in the centre because I'm not a centre person. Um, but as you can see, they do fit. That one's come off the edge of it, but that's fine. And that one, this one's a bit bigger actually. And there's another one here. And what I've been doing, the way I've been working this is make the hexagon first, the hexagons, then the grandmother's flower garden, then put them on and then edge the squares of silk velvet with buttonhole stitch. Now, I've been away, so I haven't been able to make any grandmother's flower gardens and I can't sit and do nothing of an evening. So I decided I was going to edge these squares, these silk velvet areas, with buttonhole stitch before the hexagon goes on. It doesn't really matter which way around I do it. Um, so that's what I've been doing, that's what I was doing last night. And then the little things you saw on my blog a few weeks ago, a few days ago or a week ago, I can't remember. Like the little medallions, they've been attached with buttonhole stitch as well. Um, there's one there, that's one's full of bullion loops. And these have a bit of colour in, these two. And then these, there's bullion loops and French knots. Now, I could have just done this straight onto this lace cloth. I could have put smaller areas of silk velvet on when I was making the lace cloth and then just stitched into them. But they sit in a different way if they're added as an extra because where you've got your small medallion with colour on embroidered uh, stitches using colour, you've got two layers there. So obviously it's going to give you... Um, and it's more raised, it's more dimensional, more textural. So you've got the, the layer of the medallion piece which was separate and then you put it on here and you've got the base layer underneath. So it just gives it a different appearance I think. So I'm going to keep going with this. Uh, this will be for me. Um, it's just something, because I do a lot of work for my classes, I like to do things for me that I don't need to think about. Do I have to explain this, explain that? This is a no need for explanation piece in my head. So I can just work it and enjoy working on it. And I do enjoy working on my class pieces, of course, but this is much more relaxing. Um, so what I'll do is, when I've done this, I'll take it back to the sewing machine and do more lace cloth on the areas where there isn't any. And then I'll probably do another piece like this and I'll attach them um, with decorative stitching. And I'll just keep going until I get fed up or until I think it's the right size or whatever. And it'll just literally be a piece of embroidery that I'll have laying around the house somewhere. Um, nothing more than that. But I just, it's just the handle of it and the working on it. And that's the pleasure for me. I get pleasure from the finished pieces, but the working on it and the process gives me more pleasure than the finished piece, if that makes sense. Okay, so hopefully I'll get some good pictures of this today as well, because the sun's shining, although sometimes that can be a hindrance rather than help. <laughs> 